How you guys doing? So listen, I'm in the city last week, right? And I'm looking for a restaurant. The one I'm looking for is the one that Christopher Walken owns, right? You guys know who Christopher Walken is? Yeah, yeah no, not really. Yeah, he's good. He's a good guy. So anyways, I figure he's my favorite actor. He's got to have good food, right? So I go into the restaurant and I'm looking for a place to sit down. I can't find a place to sit down. And no one's here to see me. So I'm like, let me look around and see what's going on here. And then I see him, Christopher Walken. There he is, right there. And I go up to him and he's with two other people, two other guys. And I'm like, should I talk to him? Do I interrupt him? I don't really know. So I go up to him and I'm like, hey Chris, listen, this is my first time here. You know, tell me what's good. I don't really know what to eat. And he turns to me in a way that I've never seen him in any movie before. He turns to me and he's just like, this guy's rude, let me tell you, right? He turns to me, he's like, wow, let me tell you something. You gotta get your stuff from my restaurant. Get out of here now. And I'm like, look, listen, Chris, please, Mr. Walken, with all due respect, let me just tell you something, please, about a little dream that I had, and maybe you, and in the middle of everything, Robert and Raymond, from Edward Love Raymond, all right, Robert and Mr. Walken, he's like, hey, kid, listen to me, all right? You go, Mr. Walken, get your stuff and get out of here. I'm like, look, listen, please, guys, help me out. Please, please, Ray, come on, give me a hand. You know, Ray, remember Liz Raymond, you know? Yeah. And he's like, hey, come on, you don't get to do the chance, right? Don't give me a chance. Don't give me a chance. So I'm like, thanks, Ray, you're the best, man. This guy's awesome, Ray's awesome. So uh, I'm like, all right, here it goes. Let me tell you guys a little story, all right, about a dream that I had. So I go out the other night, right, a little bit of a weird night. I come home, I'm tired, and I just lay on the bed, and I guess I just fell asleep. And then I just start having a dream. Uh, in this dream, I'm like, I'm in the ocean, right? And I have no idea where I am. I'm just in the ocean, I'm just swimming around, I got miles and miles of water around me, and there I see it. The first thing, the fin circling around me. And I'm thinking, oh, this is it. I'm done. I'm dead. I can't believe this happened to me right now. And the next thing I know, Dolphins just start jumping up out of the water, and I'm like, oh, the dolphin, let me talk to this guy, and maybe if, you know, maybe he can get me to the land or something. So I'm like, hey, dolphin. <laughs> you know? And the dolphins start talking to me, and when I said to him, I was like, hey, help me out. You know, and the dolphin's like, no problem. You know? So, so he, uh, he lets me grab onto his fin, and we're just going through the water as fast as we can, and he brings me to a boat. A huge, huge boat. This boat's enormous. He me on with his tail, and I get on the boat, and this boat's got this big horn. It's like... You know? So now, I'm on this boat, and the boat just drops me off in the middle of, like, a, like the woods. I have no idea how I got there. So, I'm in the woods, and I'm just kind of walking around, and I hear something behind me, and I don't really want to turn around because I'm a little nervous, I'm a little scared, you know? So, uh, I don't know how, but I get the courage to turn around. And there it is, I see it, and it's looking right at me. The biggest cougar you'll ever see in your life. And this thing just like, meow, meow. And I'm like, ah, ah, ah. I'm on his face like I can, all over the place. I mean, I gotta find a place to go, I gotta find a place to hide. Right, so then uh, I come across this, uh, this cave. Right, I'm in a cave, and oh my god. Please, please let this cougar go away. Please let this cougar go away. I'm so scared, my heart's up out of my chest. I'm like, and then all of a sudden, I hear it. Move it in some water, hold on. And then I hear it. Crickets all over me. Crickets. And I try throwing them all over the place. They're going flying, right? I'm like, I can't be here, they got crickets all over me, they're biting me, I gotta get out of here, so I'm running around, I try to get attacked by birds. They got birds all over me, and I'm like, this is terrible, this is terrible. So I'm running around and I find a motorcycle, I have no idea how I find a motorcycle, just in the woods. And I'm on the motorcycle, and I think it's just... Flying, every tree I pass by. And then I get into a jungle somehow, all right? I'm in this jungle and it's kind of light out, you know? And I'm like, oh, this looks all right. So I'm kind of walking around in the jungle. And I'm like, all right, there's got to be something here. And then I see monkeys coming at me as fast as they can. And they're all coming at me full speed. I'm like, oh, this is terrible. And they chase me, attacking me, attacking me. 
So I get on a tree and I start swinging on vines and vines and all these trees and everything and I end up on my job. I don't know how I ended up on my job, but I'm on my job, all right? So my boss, she's like, listen, you gotta start cleaning for me. And I'm like, why? You know, that's not what I do. So she's like, take this Windex bottle, all right? And start cleaning, all right? I'm like, all right, fine. So you know when you're spraying the Windex bottle, it starts out, you know, and it gets messed up, and it's like, you know what I'm talking about, guys? You know what I'm talking about, you know? So I'm spraying this bottle, all right? And in the middle of me telling Christian Volk in my dream, he interrupts me. He's like, wow, your boss, she makes you clean your job. I'm like, yeah, yeah, why? He's like, you need a new job. I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, look, I'm going to be playing Jurassic Park 4. If you want to be in Jurassic Park 4, you got a job. I'm like, look, yeah, listen, you got to see my Velociraptor impression. You guys all seen Jurassic Park? Yeah! You know what Velociraptor? Yeah! So I showed him. I was like, I need to get this job. So I'm like, The guy just like, whoa, this guy, he's good, he's great, I want him. And Ray's like, hey, yeah, you know, you're pretty good, you know, you should, uh, you should come in and uh, act. He's like, you're hired. Thank you, that's it. Yeah.